My friend, you can go for it. Friends, associates, fellow technophiles, I hope you're having a good time at the conference today, uh, this weekend rather. Um, been able to see a lot of amazing products, been able to see things from Apple and Microsoft, the latest iPhones, new colors, yay. Been able to see what sort of new te TV technology is out there, what Sony has. TVs keep getting bigger, pixels keep getting smaller. We've seen the latest cutting edge technology that's coming out now and in the future. What I have to show to you today is something you've probably seen before, may not have seen in a while. It's my cell phone. It's a Nokia 6120. This was manufactured back in 2006, which I believe makes it about four generations old now. Uh, what is it, about two years for the iPhones? This thing is a dinosaur by today's standards. It's not even 10 years old yet, but you'd probably have a hard time finding it if you went looking. So why am I showing you this product when everyone else is showing you the latest and greatest? Because this is practically 100% reliable for what I need it to do. It's a phone and instant messaging, yeah. Doesn't have all the other bells and whistles of things today, but it is, for one hand, a lot sturdier. I've dropped this, stepped on it, kicked it, never broken it. It's also less of a risk, less of a concern. Should I ever lose it? which I haven't yet, but should I? This is not potential access to banking information. This is not potential access to my email, personal information. It's just a phone. That's all I need it to be. So the message I'm bringing to you with this, amid all the other glitter and things that you see from the other speakers today, is that just because something's the newest, doesn't actually mean it's the best for what you need. Try to remember that sometimes reliability trumps range of abilities. Dependability for what you need can be better than extras that you may not even use. How many people here today are carrying multiple ways to access their email right now? Keep in mind that stuff like this can often be a lot cheaper. I'm out, what, 30 bucks, you could say, if I lose this? You break a new iPhone? A little bit more. You may have insurance, but I know from experience that insurance doesn't cover the full cost, unless you have really good insurance, where you're basically paying for a new phone every two years anyway, and insurance costs. And all of these new products that you see that may add just a little bit more, they're also about getting you to spend a little bit more now to get the latest and the greatest, whether you actually need it or not, whether it actually does anything different or better for you. So thank you for your time today. And like I said, just remember, newest isn't necessarily the best.